Well, hello, how's it going? Have you been? That's great. Or is it not? Oh, you're not doing well over there. Oh, I'm sorry. Hope it gets better. It's Monday here. I think I'm now like almost a whole week ahead on vlogs. I think, did I, I don't know. I, but this is, this is how I uh, personally, if you want to start YouTube, it's a good idea. Like if you just film ahead and then start releasing the vlogs, um, or whatever you're going to do, you just kind of feel like, okay, I'm way ahead. I'm not pressured. Oh gosh, I got a video up today and I didn't even start filming it or one tomorrow and I don't have time, you know, cause I am trying to do the five days a week now, Monday through Friday. You guys are liking that. So thank you so much. Um, and doing it this way where I film ahead. Then if there's a day or two where I can't, then I'm ahead. Um, my brother is at the hospital now having his surgery. His daughter is with him. Um, I don't even know if I'll go up later because when I tell you that this man is independent and doesn't want anybody around and he's like my dad, not real pleasant to be around. I don't feel well or in pain. I don't even know if I'll go up. He doesn't want anybody there. So it's like, okay, he might come back tomorrow. It might be another day. We're not sure. But procedure was not even that long and went well. She started talking to the doctor. So there is that. I'm here with three dogs, my two and his. Um, Charlie went in and he sniffed out the whole room because it was Papa's room and I would love that the three of them would like play together or something Teddy I don't think Teddy wants to play with anybody to be honest <laughs> um, but Charlie and Kay get around fine on each other they don't really interact but you know they're fine around each other so anyway um, I have eBay auctions that ended of course one ended and immediately the person who won put in a cancellation request like, what can I do? Like, you might as well, on you know, agree to it. And so anyway, so then I relisted that item. This is I'll show case you. of rings. And it got bid up. And then immediately after the auction ended, they're like, cancellation request. They didn't give a reason. They just put cancellation. So I don't want to, sh like, make them pay. And then they get it and they say something's wrong with it. Most of these are vintage. Some are modern. But most are vintage that I've just collected over the years at estate sales and everything. And in a nice case, um, this vintage toy lot and miscellaneous lot sold, which now I'm like, shoot, I should have kept all this stuff because if I get an antique mall booth, which I have a lead on, this would have been perfect, but it's okay. Um, this lot of vintage Christmas brooches, too early in the season, probably, but I just, again, trying to clear stuff out. And then this is um, just a lot of some ephemera and this sold. So those four, I think are the only four that sold. I might have more ending today. Okay, and now to couponing. So you guys know I've been dipping my toe back in the extreme couponing, which is so different than it was when I had my see and save blog. Although I do still have my see and save Facebook group. It's linked below, free to join, come on over. Um, so I've been doing CVS because you can do everything in the app. You could have it shipped. And so last night I, cause I have, you know, CVX extra care bucks. And I was wondering like the first order I placed with them, I'm like, or the, I'm sorry, the second, where did those extra care bucks go? Because I used extra care bucks from the first and I should have earned. And as I was playing with around last night, I realized I was, I'm not getting extra care bucks back if I'm using extra care bucks to buy the items, is that only somebody, I think one of you had mentioned like if it's online, it might get messed up. So I'm going to go in store and try something that has an extra care buck and see if it gives pay with an extra care buck, see if it gets me back one, if that's the problem, which kind of stinks because the fun part was doing it online, but also getting back into couponing and stuff. It is a way to get me out of the house and just, you know, not, stay here and rot and get depressed. So I don't know if you have any CVS coupon tip insiders, because I was like, do they not roll rewards? Like you go to Walgreens, you get a register reward. You can use the register reward on your next transaction. And that is how I always thought it was with extra care bucks. And seemingly online, that's what people are saying. But I think it's because you got to do that in store. Doing it online for shipping, it doesn't work. I wonder if it works for store pickup. I don't know. Anyway, so that's the situation with that. So I might get out today and run because I live by all these stores. Like, it's so easy to go. Might go and see if I can do a deal that gets me an extra care buck and see if that's the problem. 
because I think that's what the problem is because I don't want the with coupon you want to roll these rewards you want to earn rewards and then use those rewards for the next item to get you more rewards and then you roll them roll in the rewards you know if it's not rolling the rewards then that kind of defeats the purpose for every other transaction because you got to pay out of pocket anywho that's what's going on now time to go ship some eBay. I'm just getting ready to do the labels. Misty won this auction. All the little toys. So yay. So if you follow Misty, um, she'll probably be doing these in her live sale. So yeah, definitely look for those. She will find good homes for everything here. It's a fun lab. We got some trolls and I love this music box. Just all kinds of little fun things in here. Books. So yay, I'm glad it, I'm glad she got it. She'll find a good audience um, for everything. Something I do with books or anything that's cardboard or paper is I will wrap it in a poly bag and then put it in the box just in case the box was to get wet. Um, just to protect it, I have so many of these big poly bags. So that fits perfect down in there. And then I've got some ceramics that I'll wrap individually. These things like don't need to be, you know, wrapped. They're not going to break, but we'll still wrap it up nicely. I should put, she hates packing peanuts. If I was being mean, I'd put packing peanuts in, but I'm not gonna, because she'd be like, God dang it, packing peanuts. They're everywhere. <laughs> I'm also not sealing these bags, because um, I know she can reuse them too. So, but again, just to protect, like it's got the plushes in there, just again, to protect it, just in case the box gets wet. Right, we've made it to chair. I need to put those folding chairs away. Those are from Easter. Yet, where do I put them? Anyway, it is solar eclipse day. Um, and it kind of came by Iowa where I am. It looks like about 10 minutes ago. It wasn't a total here. It wasn't the total blackout. Um, it just got, it's a sunny day, but it just got kind of eerily. There was a darkness, even though the sun was still shining, if that makes sense. So it just was a different I don't know, just, you could feel it and see something different. But anyway, um, now I'm watching on TV as it goes through all of the states. So anyway, did you watch the eclipse? Were you all into it? I mean, it's, I, the thing of it is they've been talking about it for so dang long. It gets to the day and you're like, great, here we are. Okay, there it goes. I mean, unless you're in a path of total, what is it called? The path of totality. And it goes completely dark because um, there have been eclipses before. But yeah, if you were in the path of totality and got that few seconds there where it went completely dark. But too many people. I was looking at, you know, all the crowds. I'm like, oh, gosh. Even if we had the total blackout here, I'd be like, I'd be staying in. But anyway, so that is what's going on. Taking a little break here with the puppies. And I don't know. Um, I thought, you know, about going out to CVS today and then I thought, well, crew, this eclipse going on, but I think it's past us now, just because you never know what people are out there doing. Like they're going to stop their car all of a sudden and get out in the middle of the road. Um, I'm like, I don't think I want to go out during an eclipse, but I think it's past. But even then, I don't know if I'm going to go out. I am, um, working on my children's books, of course. Now let's talk complete honesty and transparency as I want to with you guys. And that is money. Um, how are the books doing financially? How much money have I made? So I've got four books out now. Now the latest Charlie is a picky eater just came out. So it's had a handful of sales, but in since the first release, I've made about close to $900 on the four. Again, one just came out. So that is nice. Um, I have talked a lot about before that this is very much a volume game. If you want to write to make money. Now, I love to write these books and it's a way to make money. So it's a win-win. And if you love to write and you just want to do it and you're not going to worry about the money. Awesome. It's so much fun and rewarding. I'm loving the children's books. But if you do also want to make money from it, um, it is a long, slow crawl. Now, you may be one of those people who publishes one and hits it out of the park and it just goes crazy. You know, you know, like literally one in a million. Maybe it's you. Who knows? But when I look at other self-published children's book authors, 
they have dozens of books and they have multiple series. So it's definitely something that you just have to keep on building up. And I only have four, um, which seems like, wow, four books, that's a lot, but not in the children's book realm when you are self-published. Um, so I just wanted to update you on that because I know some of you are interested in doing it, um, both for just the fun of it um, as well as money. But I think like with anything in business, um, you can pursue your passion and just because you love it and do it. And that's great too. But if you are needing to earn an income, just know that this path is doable, but it's going to be a long journey. So you got to love it um, and be patient to build up income. And yeah, I'll just keep you updated on that because I have had a lot of questions and comments about the children's book because so many of you just number one were interested but maybe also wanted to write children's books as well. And it is nice to have it accessible through Amazon. Um, so the next one won't go up until May. And I'm just kind of pondering now another series of children's books I want to start. Haven't started it yet. It'll be different than the pug ones because I'm not going to write them in rhyme. I love writing in rhyme. That's how my brain works. But I want to try writing books that are not in rhyme. Um, and another series I have in mind. So I have time now because this book, my initial goal was like one a month, right? And so this book is almost done and it doesn't go up until May. It's April 8th. Um, this next series, you know, I, I don't have a timeline for it. So it's not like I say, okay, it had to get done by this. So I kind of have bought myself time until May, get this one out. And if I don't end up doing the other series or I don't get it done, the first book in time, it's like, it's okay. I keep having to remind myself, it's okay. This is your business. It's your timeline. That's the beauty of being self-published. You're not working off of anyone's timeline, but the one you set for yourself. And you're the only one who knows about it, unless you're on YouTube and you tell people, then they would know too. But right now it's like my own timeline. So, um, the eBay stuff, I have some more auctions ending tonight through tomorrow. I know I talked about this before that I was doing these lots and I wanted to get these lots out before I did other lots so that I didn't get the lots mixed up. I don't want too many lots. And suddenly you got boxes of lots. You're like, well, which one is this? They all start to look the same with the ephemera and the tchotchkes. Plus, I now want to see what the antique mall booth situation may be. So, um... Yeah, I'm just kind of like, what do I do today? I have all of the things that I bought over the weekend. Uh, so as I kind of clear off that table over there for the auction items, then I'm going to move the things I bought over the weekend over there. And I just kind of want to see before I get too into putting more up on eBay, what this possibility of having a booth would be. And if some of the things that I might have thought about eBay, I would just put there. So we shall see. I'll have to make like some kind of rule. Like it would have to make me X amount of money for me to put it on eBay. Um, you know, so like the things that are $10 and under, and listen, there is no hate to selling things under $10. I do it. Lots of people do it. People criticize, oh, you should only list things if it's, you know, going to make you this much. But if you want to sell small, low dollar items and do a big volume, do it. There's so many ways that you can do reselling, eBay, Etsy, whatnot. Find the way that works best for you. So I don't never like to tell people, oh, you ha if it's not worth this much, you shouldn't list it. Now, generally, if I look at something and it's not bringing at least $10, I do question like, do I want to put it on eBay? Or maybe that's a consignment store item. If I got a booth, maybe that would be a booth item. But um, maybe I just need to find... Like things like the silverware I would put on eBay. I just will have to figure out if I get this booth, what's best for there, what's best for eBay, and what's best for the consignment store. Um, and kind of work all three to bring in some extra money. Um, so anyway, otherwise I'm just kind of sitting here now thinking, what am I going to do with myself? So yeah, my brother called. He went to check on his dog. <laughs> He's like, I died. I'm dead. And I said, great. Where'd you hide the gold? <laughs> but he's in a lot of pain. Um, but I said, Kay's doing great. We went outside and played. 
um, you take her, I took her outside and I'm like, okay, run. And she started running all over the yard. <laughs> um, and she's been, I gave her some, um, dog chews. I gave her a bully stick. Her door, the door's open and the dog, both of them have gone in there, which is the idea. I want them all to, you know, mingle. She's fine. And Charlie will go near her now. And they're kind of like, hi, how are you? Teddy, he kind of snuck in there. I was really, I just didn't say anything. He kind of looked at her and ran away. So Teddy's so nervous, but ideally they would all mingle and play together. Um, but at least they are kind of, when I'm in the kitchen, they'll all three be in this little general area and there's no barking, um, doing okay. So now the total eclipse is underway in Niagara Falls. Man, it's zipping through the country. All this hype, all this time, and it's almost out of America. But I, it was certainly a boon for these um, cities along the path, people booking the hotels and things. So, and oh, it's cloudy there. Oh, there it goes. And still going. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh, it's so cloudy there. You can hardly see it. Ah, bummer. But anyway, did you see the eclipse? Let me know what you did on Eclipse Monday. Huh, pardon me. I'm a little dewy. We were just outside playing. Finally, we've had enough dry days here where the grass uh, backyard's nice and dry. I took all three dogs out. I took balls out. Two little ones for Charlie and Teddy and a big one for Kay. And of course, <clears throat> Charlie and Teddy wanted the big one. Kay wanted the little ones. <laughs> and if you watched for a long time, you know that my dogs, when I say we're going to go play fetch, I basically am playing fetch with myself because they, I, they want me to throw the ball. I throw the ball. They run to the ball and then they turn around. They're like, why is the ball not moving? So I have to go to the ball, throw it. So we all end up with a nice little workout, but that was good. So... Um, and Kay was playing. She loves to be brushed. And she, they were all running around. Um, so that was good. Nice little workout out there. So nice today. Don't want to get your hopes up too much because it's Iowa. Again, we could have a blizzard. So I just got a package from CVS. Now, I was just on TikTok looking up some CVS stuff. And it does seem like if you want to spend extra care bucks on items that also have extra care bucks, you have to do those in store. Anyway, so I will have to do that. I thought about going, but now the schools are letting out and my road to CVS goes through the schools letting out. I don't know if you've ever been through the traffic, the high school or any of the schools, but especially the high school when the teenage, those dang teenagers, which is funny because, you know, I was once one and we loved our cars, but yeah, um, school's letting out. And I'm like, mm, maybe we'll go tomorrow. But anyway, so this CVS order, I paid $31 and change for, and I got back 20, I didn't write that, $23 and change in extra care to spend. So I've been doing it online because I didn't realize, so like the first order I did, I pay out of pocket, I got the extra care bucks, right? I spent those extra care bucks on other items and I didn't realize that I didn't get those extra care bucks. So I did another one and then got extra care bucks back, which is how I placed this order. So my out of pocket was less. And then I got the extra care bucks back. Or did I do this out of pocket without extra care bucks and get extra care bucks? Y'all, this extra care bucks, the extra care bucks. Anyway, I have extra care bucks now. So this is the, and all of these had coupons. So I got two of these L'Oreal, um, these are the magic roots. Because my hair is so short now, literally I can use this stuff and it gives plenty of color for me to do. Um, and these are a lot less than the full boxes. And again, there was a deal in extra care bugs. Um, got some dental, got two Crest 3D white and a toothbrush. I can't remember now, of course, what the deals were, but there were deals. I don't think it says on the, like it'll tell me that after coupons, so yeah, after coupons, the toothpaste was 87 cents each 
and the toothbrush was $2.59. And then that gave me back some sort of reward. The hair color after coupons was $4.06 each, and then it gave me back rewards. These little Nexus um, conditioners, I thought I got shampoos on it. Conditioners, um, 69 cents each, and they counted towards getting back a bigger reward. I don't know. Soft soap, I got woo, two of the body washes. After coupons, they were three. 53 each and then there was quite a big reward back on those and then the last thing were these two Nivea um, body washes <laughs> like is it shampoo is it conditioner is it body wash um, these were 329 each and then there was reward back so like I said from this purchase I got back $23 and change. So we will have to be going in store for the deals, but that's okay um, to do those. Now I thought I'd talk about the money saving apps. Oh my God, I'm sweating for me outside. Um, okay, so we've been talking about these money saving apps, receipt scanning, play games, take surveys, all the things. My three favorite are still Fetch, Ibotta, and Shopmium. They are all straightforward. They are all receipt scanning. They pay you back cash. It's very quick. Those are my top three. If you are a Walmart shopper, those are the ones you're gonna wanna do because Walmart doesn't have the coupons, typically. When you coupon, most of the rebate sites aren't going to also give you full points back. Like, it's very rare that you can get something at CVS that then you scan at Ibotta. Um, Sometimes Walgreens will, but it's the way the coupons work. If there's coupons attached, sometimes it won't. But if you're Walmart and you just want to like do super easy deals where you get your receipt and you're scanning, those three are great. Highly recommend. They're all in my um, description box under the video. All are completely free. Fetch, Ibotta, Shop Me, yes. Another one I'm loving is Brand Club. Um, they have surveys from different brands, you can take three a day, every 24 hours, and a lot of them pay at least 50 cents. And they take a couple of minutes. So I can make $1.50, literally sitting through a commercial during a show, and just do, 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 do the survey, and you get paid. Um, there's also rewards for purchasing certain products, um, connecting your accounts. What I love about a lot of these apps is you can connect your account. So like, you can connect your Amazon account and it will then scan if you've made a purchase and give you the points. Also attach email, you can attach a credit card if you want it to scan all of your electronic receipts. Um, some stores allow that, some stores don't. Walgreens doesn't seem to, but like Target, Walmart, Amazon, almost all these apps do just an online scan. So I'm loving Brand Club or is it Brand Cycle? It's Brand Club, isn't it? One moment. Yes, Brand Club. Okay, the next two, I personally, <clears throat> they're owned by the same company. So you really honestly want to pick one. I have found. Excuse me. <clears throat> For receipt scanning, because if you scan the receipt in one, it won't take it in the other. And that's Inbox Dollars and Swag Bucks. They're owned by the same company. And a lot of times, if you scan the receipt in both, it won't take it, which I have mine alphabetized. So I do inbox dollars first and then swag bucks won't take that coupon or that receipt. Um, both do have surveys, both do have games. Here's, oh, let's talk about the games. Okay, shall we? Cause I've talked, I've touched on this before. A lot of these are like, win this much money playing this game. These games are freaking impossible unless you pay money to play. What's the point of that? If you're gonna, unless you're gonna pay me like a thousand dollars, okay, I'll give you five, but really? Um, so pay to play because you have to advance through these levels so fast. And the levels are deceptive. I was playing that Solitaire Grand Harvest with Sarah Jessica Parker in the commercial. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh, you only have to get to this level. And it looks like you're on the level, but actually not the level. That's the garden number. I don't know. Um, so that's a little sketchy with the games. I started a new Solitaire one. I'm like, maybe this Solitaire. Oh, you, gotta, you have to deposit at least $10 to have a chance to win money. 
which I'm like, is online gambling illegal or legal now? I don't know. Anyway, <clears throat> so the games, I am just joined an Inbox Dollars Facebook group to see what they say about the games. Because a lot of people who do this swear by the games in Inbox Dollars and Swagbucks. Like, those are the ones to do. Um, something I am not happy with is Shopkick. I am having trouble accessing my account. I have money there and I can't get into my account. My phone number is my old phone number. I must have applied or set up an account with them before I lost that number. And I can't get in there to change it to save my life. So that's right. I'm, a, I'm annoyed with Shopkick. But Shopkick is another one where you can earn points for going into the store and then scanning receipts. Um, which again, you'll see a lot of Walmart deals posted with Shopkick. But... Um, then some others are like Coin Out, Pogo, Eureka. Those are really, I am finding, very slow going. Eureka is a lot of surveys that only pay, you know, 25 cents or something. And then you start the survey and says, oh, you're not qualified. Sorry. So there's a lot of stopping and starting. I'm like, I don't have time for this. What are you doing? Um, but I'm, I still have it in there. You, A lot of these do, you can earn points or money for referrals um, so there's that, but I'm just really kind of narrowing down. I have a little folder on my phone, so I've moved the apps that I love, which are Fetch, Inbox Dollars, Shop Me Um, Brand Club, Inbox Dollars and Swag Bucks. I'm still trying to decide. I do have Pogo there. Um, there was another one on the front page. But there's so many of these, and I feel like at some point you've just got to narrow down your top ones and focus on those because you have so many that you can't get anywhere, right? You're like, oh, scanning, scanning, scanning. Um, so anyway, that is the update with the couponing. I I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring. If my brother's going to come back, I'm going to have to, obviously, I will be the one to get him, um, bring him back, and I'm not going to, like, leave him after he just had major surgery. So I'm not quite sure what tomorrow will bring if I'm going to go out anywhere. But have all week to do the deals. Um, so anyway, that is the update with that down here in the ebay room pulling a couple more auctions that sold this huge lot of plastic dollhouse furniture only went for $24.99 talked about this before plastic dollhouse furniture is not a great pickup but i am always a sucker for it and usually you find it like in a cheap bag now had i pieced it out and just put fixed price well, actually, in my defense, it was at fixed price for a while, but all together. Like, if I had separated it by color, maybe, and pieced it out that way, I don't know. But anyway, that's over $24.99, buyer paid shipping. And then this, this is not the box these will ship in, but these are Lennox annual Easter egg. Um, I put these up at auction, and they sold for $49.99. Buyer pain shipping. When I first got these, I listed them and somebody offered me 60. I thought that was way too low. Huh. Hindsight being 2020. But I got these at an estate sale, the warehouse estate sale, 75% off day. And I think I only paid one or two bucks each. They didn't have really, they didn't have much on them. So 50 bucks. Um, so all total here, we have 75. And then the other two auctions that sold earlier today. So a little bit of influx of cash and, um, getting some things out of here. I've also been pulling things from the eBay store. Again, I was kind of thinking like doing a lot here or um, taking some of this to the consignment store, creating a lot of Hallmark ornaments. The Hallmark ornaments that are valuable are the ones usually that make light sound, they move, do something. Um, especially if they're a licensed one like Disney and it also makes light and sound and stuff. Um, there's some collections like the bird collection that can be very valuable, but most Hallmark ornaments are not worth much at all. But again, I'm a sucker and pick them up. These are so cute. But anyway, like I could just create a lot. And if I happen to get Hallmark ornaments, these alone aren't really worth much, but you put them together in a lot. They can be. And again, these have been listed since before Christmas and no um, this little candle bear, this um, Christmas around the world, House of Lloyd. Um, got things like this, 
some little figurines, salt and pepper shakers, just this kind of little bits of stuff is the kind of stuff I love to pick up. But if you're not going to create a lot with it, um, I listed it individually. So these type of things. So we'll see. Um, like I said, I'm going to check out that booth space. Um, and if I don't, if I don't end up doing that, these are still things, uh, some I can try at the consignment store. It'd just be like, obviously Christmas. You can't take that now. So we shall see how that works out. It's cute little bears. Um, when you sell things at a lot, you just, especially auction, like I said, those things have been sitting, which is why I put them at auction. Um, but you're always going to take a risk. You're, you're going to get what you ask for. So don't start your auction for less than you're willing to take or you're going to be happy with. Um, this stuff, like I said, I got those, these, and I actually had them out on display last year. Cheap. And then this stuff, again, it's been sitting. I just wanted it to go. So, but man, I know I've said this before, but man, how much of the days, everything on eBay was a 99 cent auction. And you just watch the bidding go up and up and up. Those days are over for most things.